All right, let's talk about responsive. Yeah, bubble and responsive. So say I wanted to recreate a page like this where I have a video, something to chat about, um, just some buttons in it. Uh, I have lines here to help show you the different groups that I have, but recreating this is arguably a little bit more um, intensive than it looks. So I could do a group on my page and then just do the type of container as fixed and center it. And then I can just start filling it up with all this and putting it in these spots, right? And to an extent that would accomplish the goal. So what fixed means is I'm just gonna drag and drop. So if I wanna put a Dropbox here, a Dropbox here, a radio button here, I can. See how they're kind of overlapping each other and stuff though. You know, that's that's possible in fixed. Instead, these are containers I'll show you here. They actually have layouts. So this is a column. And if you think about a column, it's one on top of the other, right? And then inside of it we have rows. So this is a row, this is a row, and this group here is a row. So I have a column containing two, one, two, three groups, and then in each group is designated to be a row. So I'm essentially making it almost like a grid that I'm gonna build inside of and kind of put things inside these containers. So it allows you to kind of build a more dynamic looking page with structure. So in this group, make sure the settings aren't all I'm gonna increase my width. What's the width on this thing? Cool. Let's do 720. I'll increase our height to 500 just for now to have space to work in. Great. So all I did was make it bigger so I'd have more space. Now I want to make my two menus up top, and I didn't make one. Great. Poor internet connection. So. I didn't make one uh, row and then have it go down twice. I made two separate rows and I did that because I wanted it to always show two rows. I didn't want it to have like a smaller screen that would squish it down and make like five rows of buttons. I always want two. Let's put this group in here. See how it just lets me put it anywhere? It's because I didn't change the, this boxes yet. So I'm gonna change this one to a column and immediately change the other settings. So. Center this. It's always better to center these for the most part. Unless you're building a page that goes side to side or uh, just really using up all of the space. I leave some gaps on my sides just uh, for different screen sizes personally. Also, have a tendency to build more simpler apps that are more focused on um, like a centered usage. So I have now a column, so it's gonna allow me to stack things inside of it. And then this one, I want it to be a row. I want it to be a row because inside of it, I wanna put things horizontal. Because if I wanted to put something in the column, it's gonna go above or below this. It won't go to the side here. Like I can drag it over here, it's not going there. Here though, I can grab a couple buttons and put it inside. Why are we doing that? It's fixed width. There we go. Undo fixed widths. Fit height to content. Well, maybe we don't want to fit height to content. Oh, minimum height is why. Let's do one. Fit height to content. No. Fit height to content. There we go. Fit height to content. Great. So now I have two buttons in there, and I'll add two more. When you're adding these, always look at what um, what's lighting up. So like this is. Uh, highlighted in red. That means I'm going to put it here where that little space bar is. Same thing down here. And you'll see they're all butted up against each other. We don't want that. We want some spacing. So what I can do is just designate here. You know, I want padding or I want margins. Uh, just different ways of kind of designating what you want uh, around them. So 
on the top, I like to put five. I like to box things out with five usually. I like that gives it the space to be, to breathe a lot of times. No matter how things end up lining up. So this is one way to do it. Okay. Another way to do it would be to just take this and do space around. So if I click space around, it's gonna evenly space these all out. So they all have space around them. But on this, say I take off the top, move it to zero. We're gonna move back to the very top part of this box. So even when you do that, you might need to do another set or another uh, setting to adjust it down if you don't want things butting up against each other, and especially if they're stacking things in a, of rows and a series of rows in a column. Just make it look easier to use or be easier to use. You don't want buttons on top of each other. So back to the height. Minimum height is set to 100, it looks like 50. There we go. That gives us a gap here. Now, we've already built this, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste another one. So I have another one just below it. And all it did was just pop it in there. So now I've got basically the same thing. Um, the only difference is up here, I have the settings set to everything inside this box is going to be centered. So this is centered, this is centered. I had up top, I have fit with the content and fit with the content. So as you can see, now they are exactly the same. These are settings that are really easy for you to go in and get. Issues with saving my app are popping up because the internet is slow here today, which is awesome. It's gonna make for a really great day. Excited. Okay, so this box here. Um, fix. This is going to be another row. It's gonna be another row because we're gonna put stuff inside of it again that we want next to each other. Right, so we want the video one video there got to remove their fixed width things that for some reason auto populated there and then i wanted a text box over there next to it great so We want. So, problem here is though, you can see this isn't there, isn't aligned right, and this isn't aligned right. But with this box, I can just go ahead and click on the space around button. See how they're nice and evenly spaced here? That helps. Um, but again, I have gapping at the top, so I just like to add margin at the top. So let's add that 20 to this one see how it looks I like the way that looks this one's less text I want it kind of centered here vertically centering it easy you can just do this too so like if I wanted to actually do that here I can do a vertical alignment and not and drop that margin there so that's another op another option depends on how um, how picky you want to be with it I like margins a lot because it helps me to also um, give this gap. So if I do a top 20 and a bottom 20, it's going to still, and, and then I do the vertical alignment, it's still going to put it in the same spot, but it means if it's on a screen size where this box gets squished, I'm still going to have this 20 gap here and this 20 gap here. So it'll never squish into it. It's almost like a bumper. Which is helpful. I can do the same thing over here as well. So that is a quick rundown of rows, columns, and fixed. Hopefully it was helpful for you. Uh, like and subscribe. Getting close to a thousand people, which would be really cool to hit by the end of the year. So uh, 
like and subscribe. Let me know um, what kind of stuff you're, you're interested in learning about with Bubble.